Alrighty folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about B-roll. So the first thing we need to know about B-roll is what is it? B-roll is essentially supplemental footage that kind of supports your initial storyline. Um, so your A-roll or your this part of the video is uh, essentially the tell part of your show and tell. Uh, the B-roll is the show part of your show and tell. So now that we know what B-roll is, we need to know why to use it. It really adds to the story and it helps to keep your viewer engaged. Now that's probably the most important purpose to have B-roll is to keep that viewer interested and, and following along with the story that you're trying to tell. It helps you to establish the location, the mood, the characters. It really helps to show your viewer what you're talking about. So we know what B-roll is, we know why we use it, but now we need to know how to do it. Everyone has their own workflow, everyone has their own way of doing stuff, and no one is right or wrong. So these are the tips that I would give to you. You can take them, you can modify them, you can use them, you can completely ignore them, whatever you want. But this is how I shoot my B-roll. We're gonna start with the first and probably the most commonly used, slow motion. Everyone who thinks of B-roll automatically thinks 120 FPS, let's go. Now if you want to understand a bit more about 120 FPS, click the link in either one of these corners. So shooting slow-mo is always an effective way of getting B-roll. It adds to the intensity of your story, but I would say choose wisely when you're shooting in, in slow motion because you want to you wanna choose the shots that make sense. One of the things that I try to keep in mind when I'm shooting B-roll is to vary my angles so that when I get back home and I'm editing and I'm trying to really tell that story, I can use, I can pull from each of those different angles to kind of serve different purposes. There's three angles that I would try to hit no matter what. So you've got your wide shot, definitely great for establishing the location and the mood and the vibe and everything like that. Then you've got your medium shot, you're kind of zoning in on what the story is actually focusing on. And then you got your close-ups that kind of shows the, the intricate details of the smaller things. To go along with that, I always say to try to film the process of something. So the process kind of helps to build that storyline and it leads you to, I guess, like the climax of the story. If you have the resource is get creative, use different cameras, you know, use the GoPro, use the use a drone, use use a 360 camera. But just make sure when you're when you're varying your shots, make sure that each of them serves a purpose. Each of them enhances that storyline. Uh, going along with staying creative and stuff, uh, a few things that I've noticed. Now, they're not necessarily angles of view, but just like different types of things that you can try when you're trying to get creative with your B-roll. Attempt to add some motion to your shots. If what I'm trying to show isn't moving, I'll move the camera to keep that shot interesting. Another thing that I could suggest would be um, also to kind of use the foreground to your advantage, especially if you have a like fast lens and you can kind of get some bokeh and show some depth going on. Now, the only other tip that I have for when it comes to shooting B-roll is to try and plan. When when it comes to running gun shooting and like stuff that's more just like for me, like fun little travel videos or whatever it might be, then honestly, I'm gonna be totally honest with you, I don't plan it, I don't necessarily think it's worth it if you're just trying to have fun and kind of create memories, but if you're being paid or if you're trying to teach someone something, when there's a little bit higher stakes, plan. Plan your video. Even if you can't plan days in advance, try to plan as you're shooting. What's my establishing shot gonna be? Where are we? At least you can kind of have an idea even if it's not completely bullet noted and you know properly planned out in your little journal. So that's about it for my tips and tricks for B-roll. Uh, I hope that this educated you in some way, shape, or form. Uh, if you have your own tips and tricks in B-roll, let me know in the comments below. And if you take these tips and you make something awesome, tag me in it, let me see what you're making. If you like this kind of stuff, give it a big thumbs up. If you hate this kind of stuff, give it a big thumbs down. And if you want to see more of it, then hit subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!